Hi, I'm Phil from Vintage Modern Guitars, and I'm joined by Steve Crow from Audio Kitchen Amplifiers. Steve, we were just saying um, how most guitarists would quite buy about ten guitars and have one mediocre amp, mm. when the, the correct thing maybe we'd do is sell eight guitars and buy yourself one really good amp, mm. and it'll change your whole whole playing. Yeah, that. definitely. I mean, the thing the thing is with amps, that they're not the thing that you hold and touch, and you don't feel it vibrating against you, so it's not the sexy thing. But sure. in actual fact, it can improve your playing and also definitely Im improve your playing experiences. It can make it a lot more fun. Right. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, I make amps, so I'm bound to say that. But <laughs> no, no, but it's, it's true. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I've only re I'm, I'm, I've, I fall into the probably 20 guitars in one, one mm. amp c yeah. category. But I've recently started experimenting in with a few few things, and uh, and it, yeah, it's true. It just definitely changes the whole whole perception of the guitar really. So would you like to talk to us a bit about this, this amp you've got brought today? Sure, yeah. Um, this is uh, the, the kind of smallest guitar amp that we make. It's called the Little Chopper. Um, you get about seven watts out of it. Um, and it's, it's pretty simple to be honest. So the tone stack here is uh, standard bottom, middle, top, Fender style tone stack with quite a scoop middle. And then there's uh, a stack switch which t changes that tone stack so that those no longer work and that ends up being like a top end roll off. And because, because you're removing all of that from the circuit, you get uh, both a gain boost and because the fender stack is quite mid scooped, you also get a perceived mid boost. Right. If you just want the ch change in tone without the change in gain, there's a switch down here, high low, um, which keep it in high on the on the when all three are working and then flip it to low as you flip that and it will just it will change the tone without changing the gain massively right the the last uh, knob on the end is power which is a headroom control for the output stage so as you turn it down the amp will get quieter but break up more so using gain and power together so limiting headroom type it's li exactly limiting headroom you could you should be able to get uh, levels of breakup at different volume levels just by playing with those two knobs together. So ideal for recording them. Exactly, which is why lots of producers and engineers really like this because it does. Cool. You can get a sound without making your ears bleed. So that when you put a mic in front of it, what you hear in the control room is what you hear when you're playing it in the in the live room. Nice. Well, I think we're going to hear that right now. I hope so.